showing at NEC and and Retrotech having a lot of very good weeks and has made one top eight in Combat Cup. But you know, he, he wants a lot more. He wants he wants to be up there with, with all the big dogs on a consistent basis. And you know what? He's working on his way to get there. I, I've been trying to tell him that, man. Like, I, you are right there. You just need, just, just enjoy this experience you're getting, and you'll get there. He just needs to keep playing. I mean, that's really the bottom line. Experience. Yeah. Experience trumps everything. Truth be told. I mean, you've seen it in, I mean, every every sport. Experience is is what makes people great. You're exactly right. And you can see when you have a newer player versus a, a tournament veteran, you know, when that composure needs to, to kick in, you can see who's the tournament veteran and who has a little bit left to go. And we know that Silver Eye hates this matchup as Liu Kang. We see Dragon pick it. Any Katana player that Silver Eye goes against, they are picking Mournful. But Silver Eye taking care of business right now. Wow. <laughs> That was so fast. Fight. Puts himself in the corner though. Immediately breaks. Smart. Ooh, very oh, nice. That was oh my so god. Smart. That down three. He had no meter, so he couldn't he couldn't do the back fist with armor. That was that was clutch. That was nice. He's been training this matchup, you can tell. Well you know it. He has been taken out by this variation, probably more so than any character or, character or variation. I know he hates this, but Retrotech holding his ground, building oh, all that, that meter. The shimmies. That was sick. That that was probably the best I've seen him go against Mournful so far. And Retrotech is a katana main now. You know, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if he's as as experienced and mournful as the other two, but I'm betting he switches to assassin right now. I, I can dig that it. pick. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling that because mournful did not work. Um, I'm pretty sure assassin's what he plays the most, or at least what I've seen him play the most. Yeah. He's, what is he doing? He's not going to go random select, right? <laughs> he better He's... not, because he will get an earful from me, believe me. <laughs> you he know what? That's not. something we should do sometime. A full-on random select tournament. Oh, my God. That would be so sick. I don't even like random select casuals, much less a <laughs> tournament. Oh, my God. Actually, just to amp it up a little bit, do hidden random select. Oh, now we're talking. Just let it rip, man. Just let it roll. Mm-hmm. If you win, you have to stick with that character. If you lose, you get to go back to random select. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will get their main, and that will be torture, man. <laughs> uh, he did go to Royal Storm, so no more Mournful. You you have to know that Silver Eye has exhausted the Mournful in the lab. Like, there's probably nothing that he doesn't know at this point. Oh, very nice running. That was such a read. Wow. Just missed the backhand. And right now you can see Silver Eye opting to stay back, making Katana come in. And one more of those is going to do it. Ooh, very good reflect. Wow. No floats here. I've got to say, I am Round two. super impressed. Dude, watching Silver Eye at NEC was, I was like, wow, this, this dude is playing on another level than another level. Like, he was playing super solid. I mean, it's super clear that he's got a legitimate game plan. He is ready for this matchup and everything that comes from it. Yeah, Retro Tech having a hard time getting anything started. He's out zoning a zoner and then just playing crazy good footsies. Exactly. He's got the health lead by a huge margin. No reason for him to come in, forcing Retro Tech to take every risk. And it's just going to take one more of those fireballs. Ah, no float to He tried that at the end of the last round and it didn't work. Same result. Now, 
in the Combat Cup and Conquest series, I've never seen I've never seen Retro Tech pick anybody but Katana. But I have played casuals with him. He does have a Kotal. He does have a oh, I think a Shinnok. Like he has a couple characters. But man, you gotta you gotta you gotta roll with who brought you to the show. Oh my God, yes, he does have a Sonya too. That's what it was. Oh, all right. Yeah, and it looks like he's going with Special Forces, Sonya. That'll be interesting. I don't know that I've actually seen this matchup ever be played before. Truth be told, no. Me neither. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, I don't know how this works. This is pretty much, you know, Sonya's zoning variation, but we'll see how well it goes. Oh, you got to run in on that. Yep, there it comes. Yep. Oh! It's like her zoning safety net. Very nice. And it auto tracks. So you, you against that, you want to you want to go back to like the old school stuff. You know, when you had the eight bit games and you had little tracking dots that would follow you, and you could trick them. You know, by jumping. Oh well, by going a certain direction and kind of making those things with. The same applies here, but Retro Tech getting the mix. Goes low again. Small damage. By jumping there. Oh. Yeah, this this may be a matchup that Silver Eyes saying what in the hell is going on, and Retrotech able to put himself on the board. And a full stick of butter. And a full stick. Yep. <laughs> that is impressive. Round two, fight. Goes overhead with the back one four, forcing Silver to break. Oh, no punish on that low fireball. Very nice down two. And the low. Oh, he didn't get the conversion though. Yeah, this. Wow. This, this is stuff, a game man. <laughs> and he is still sitting on three bars. Yep. Very nice duck oh. into a throw. Retro tech. Still down, but on the board. Two one. Hmm. Hmm. That changes everything, though. It, yeah, it does. And Silver Eye's first opportunity to switch. Will he? I don't know, but... I'm thinking Dragon's Fire. I'm thinking he's going home here. I think he did the other one for the matchup. I think he did Flame Fist for the matchup. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know for sure, but that would be my guess. Wait, what? Whoa, going possessed. He does have a possessed. He was working on this character like two or three weeks ago. Um, he, really? I mean, yeah, I mean, he dabbles in it. Uh, and I want to say, somebody said he actually used possessed at NEC versus somebody. But that could be just a big bunch of crap. I don't know. But <laughs> he does, yeah, he has worked on this character for a couple weeks because he knows he's kind of dumb. Oh, he's super dumb. <laughs> I mean, the damage, the armor, There, I mean, if you're not throwing that out, it's just like Mystic Push. Right. If you're not throwing it out, you're doing something wrong. Oh, I, that was gorgeous. That was very nice. That's a worth a trade all day long. Ooh! Oh, oh and the lag spike just made him drop that. Down to whiffed. Wow. Ooh, very nice whiff punish. And that that third hit is a mid. Wow. Yeah, that was smart. Battle and I are one. Fight. That was a good reaction by Retro Tech. Silver I was not able to capitalize though. Nice down two again. That down two is putting in so much work for him. Oh. It, these little bitty conversions and reads, I mean, they're adding up, but it is. Retro has to work so hard to get some of this damage. Nice block. He even burned the meter there. He's making him come off the bar. That I mean, that's something.
It, you can you can see this this is where you can tell how much of a Liu Kang main that Silver Eye is versus Kenshi. He just he he doesn't have that familiarity that you you like to know that he he does with Liu Kang. He just doesn't know what to do in certain situations. Very nice. Oh, that was gnarly. Yeah, at full screen, he gets a little confused. You can definitely tell. Yeah. But, I mean, he is winning right now. He just need He is on set point right now. Silver Eye. They're both about to have... Yep, full sticks. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. 19%. That's just... Oh, you need so much more damage than that. If that would have connected... Oh! And he's gonna have to break. When he ran in, I thought he was gonna actually x-ray. That would have been amazing. It, it would have. Oh, wow. Silverad does make the trade and actually wins. Wow. Silverad right. moving on. And that was for Can top eight, correct? Wins. Yeah. Er, okay. yes. Alright. Yes. Pay your respect. Congrats, Silver Eye, coming off a very good showing at NEC, and now a very good showing on Conquest. You know, I've got